What is the difference between link tree and offering tree? This question has come up a couple times, so I thought I'd answer it. Although, honestly, there is so little similarities between the two. They're two totally separate things, except the names of them sound similar. So today I wanted to discuss what link tree is and what offering tree is. And if you have that question, this is the video that I'm going to send your way. My name's Ashley. I help yoga teachers with technology, online business, and putting themselves out there with confidence in the online world and really in just any teaching capacity. So I'm here to help you with tech tips, tutorials, and marketing business, and all sorts of things that can help increase your confidence. So let's get to talking about the difference between offering tree and link tree. And I'm actually going to do a screen share so you can see what each of those are. But first, let me explain just um, here and now the difference between the two. Number one, link tree is just like it sounds. It's a tree of links. <laughs> so it is a list of links that take you to different places. That is literally it. And you'll see that when I show you the screen share. An offering tree is this amazing all-in-one system for scheduling online classes, on-demand videos, for workshops, for pretty much setting up your entire business on one platform, one website that has everything that you need to start making money and start building your business. So they're very, very different. And I'll show you that coming up next. But before I do, um, down below, you're going to see a couple links to other demonstrations and videos I've made about Offering Tree and also a discount code for um, joining Offering Tree. If you decide to, you get uh, a certain percentage off the first three months or there's an annual discount. So go ahead and check that out down below. That is offeringtree.com slash ashes. Now let's get to the actual um, demonstration or showing you behind the scenes of the difference between link tree and offering tree. First of all, link tree was created to solve a problem. And that problem is that on Instagram, you are only allowed one link in the bio of your Instagram. So if you check out my Instagram page here, this ashleyrosehagen.com slash links is the only place that you can have a clickable link. And if you try to leave a comment with links or have a post with caption with something that's a link, it's not clickable, which is why Linktree was created. And there's a few other websites that are similar. What they're essentially doing is creating a tree of links. It's one page, one landing page where you go and you can say, check out the link in my bio. And then it brings you to multiple places. So I have a link to my Facebook group, my yoga sequencing video, my YouTube channel. That way I don't have to constantly come back here and be changing this link every single time I say, go check out the link in my bio. It just made it easier for people to have one link that would branch out to all the places. And that's literally it. That is all that this is, is one standalone page that takes you to different places. It is not a scheduling software. It's not going to host your videos. It's not going to do anything except provide a list of additional outside external places you could go. So if I have a post in my Instagram that says, check out my latest YouTube video, go to the link in my bio, then most people should know that they're going to click on YouTube channel rather than one of these other links. And I don't have to go in and change this link all the time. So when you do that in Linktree, you can sign up, it's free, and then you can start to uh, add some links, publish them, delete some. Let's see, there's a couple different templates you can choose from color schemes. And you can't change a whole lot on it. Uh, you don't have a lot of access unless you buy the subscription to the pro version. Then you can change a lot of things. But I actually don't use Linktree because there's a way that you can have a page of links from your own website, including Offering Tree. So now that we understand what Linktree is, I actually want to walk you through a little bit more about Offering Tree. And I can't give you everything with Offering Tree, but I'm going to give you a brief little overview. So, Offering Tree 
is different. <laughs> it is a all-in-one scheduling booking software website builder. It keeps it very, very simple. You can get a website up and going within 30 minutes and start uh, listing classes and offerings. So this is the homepage of my site where I have my schedule to my upcoming classes. People can register for my classes. They can um, join memberships. I've got uh, video trainings, which is um, an on-demand storefront where people can buy workshops, and it's all hosted within Offering Tree. People can also click on this at the top that says free guide and then sign up below to join my email list. There's also a way for people to book one-on-one -on -one calls and private lessons. So it's pretty much just this all-in-one amazing online business building for yoga teachers and wellness professionals platform. So it's a great place. And I have more of a, a larger, longer demo in a link down below that I did with one of the co-founders earlier um, earlier this year. So you can check that out. Um, but anyway, so it's, it's great, right? And so what I've done instead of using Linktree is a couple things. Well, the one I'm currently using is just a link on my WordPress website that has buttons to all of my stuff. But then I went ahead and said, you know what, I can make this an offering tree. So if you don't yet have a website and you're thinking, you know, offering tree might be for me and I want to keep everything on in its in that platform um, to be able to track it, track the number of clicks. I actually created a simple button list here in offering tree. So I created a new page that's ashesyoga.com slash offering tree.com, which is my website slash pages slash links. And this is an unpublished page or it's an un, it's a private page. People can still see it if they go to it, but it's not going to be on this list here, um, up here with the rest of my menu items. So this is something that I would have just on my Instagram, or if someone wanted links to things, quick links, I could say, go to this site. So I have my sign up for zoom class and it will take me to my schedule. Go to my YouTube channel, go to Facebook, go to my free sequencing guide. And so I can add as many links as I want and even add text. And if I wanted to make it really fancy, I could have even add background colors. But this is another way that you can add links to your Instagram without it having to be through Linktree. And this way you can actually track it. So if I go to the back end of Offering Tree, which is I'm going to show you, I created this custom page. All I did was duplicate the buttons and change the text. And I'm not going to go super into depth on how to do that. I do have some tutorials, but it was fairly simple and I got it up within 15 minutes or less. And I added a photo and I added this little text box with my at sign. So that was fairly simple. But the great thing about doing this from your site is then you can actually track in your dashboard how many people have viewed your page. And so you can start to track how many people are showing up on your website. And your website is any of the pages. That includes your links page. And it's also very easy to change. So I go over here on the left side and click on pages and I can add different pages. I can add different links. So I've got um, just a few pages here and this links is unlisted. I could publish it too. It's still unlisted, meaning it's not public at the top. But once I publish it, that means that now people can actually see it if I put it on my Instagram. So if I go to edit that page, uh, what you'll see here is the title and all I did was add the URL as links. So I know that, that it's ashesyoga.offeringtree.com slash pages slash links. And there are a few templates on here too. You could add colors, you can add some different bells and whistles and whatnot, but I like to keep it simple and it just sticks with my brand colors. I've chosen this color for each button and I think it looks really nice. So this would be a great way to uh, use your own website to build a list of links. So essentially you have your own link tree page in your offering tree page or in your offering tree site. So. Um, Offering tree is, of course, a lot more than just a page of links. It provides a place where people can join your email list, buy your classes, join you for classes and Zoom classes and um, 
<laughs> host workshops and, and do a lot of different things. Now, there are some limitations, of course, not every platform is going to be perfect, but it really is a place where uh, you can start building your online yoga business, if that is a goal of yours. And the price of it, because I know this is a question a lot of people have, um, there is a discount link below. Again, I mentioned that, but there's two price options. One is $29 a month. The other is $59 a month. There are annual options, which lower the price quite a bit. And most of the what you can do with the essentials or the $29 version, you can also do with the pro version. With the, the uh, $29 a month version, there is a 1.9% transaction fee added on top by Offering Tree. With the pro plan, there is no additional um, cost to that. But you can get 50% off your first three months or 15% off annually. Or if you're in this window of the holiday season, you can actually get more off. There's even a bigger discount, um, plus some other added bonuses. Thanks for checking out this video, and I hope it cleared up some questions about Linktree versus Offering Tree, and also helped give you some tips that you may not have thought about before. Now, if you want to sign up for Offering Tree, or watch any other other videos, check out the description or some of the videos you'll see at the end here. And I will see you next time in another video. And don't hesitate to ask any questions so that I can provide continued content just like this.